Hey guys, Shadow Out with a uh, Lunar Magic tutorial. Um, was really expecting this till today, but I want to get another video out there. It's not late at night, so it wasn't really late the night I put the other one out, but um, if I sound boring this one, I'm sorry. Um, but this is Lunar Magic, and you can tell if you have the real one, because you'll have um, these three options up here, the yellow, green, and turning block options. So that's how you can tell if you have the real one. Now you want the real one for the one for the tutorial I'm giving. Because there is a, a one that doesn't have all the options out there, and I've got it, and it's not very good. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is just a basic. Uh, most of you know this. Today we're talking about uh, sprites and objects. And so if we go up here to this little yellow block and click it, we get the Add Objects window. Let me just put this all into the recording area. Alright, and you have your standard objects here, invisible coin blocks, note blocks, coins, uh, um, the only enemy you might you will find in here is chompers, um, so that's how you do it. And say you want them in the level somewhere, so make sure this little green turtle shell is not clicked in like this, you want it out, and make sure you have what you want highlighted, and just find it, and then you would right click in the level, and then click and drag wherever you want it. You can change the size of it, move it out, in, doesn't matter. You can just do like that, and you can keep them there. And just keep on doing that to, you, uh, to your contempt. All right. Now sprites are the little purple Yoshi, and before you can do anything with them, you can either push Escape and get the green curl show in or you can just click it. I'd rather push escape because I don't I don't feel like clicking it. Uh but you click the little purple Yoshi and you get the sprites window. So these are all your enemies. Gray Koopa, Blue Koopa, Blue Koopa shoot uh turtle shells just for those who don't know. But most of y'all know this. So this first tutorial might might be nothing for you. But if you want those in, again you just find one you want. Um Yellow Koopa. Right click, drag, and you can't extend them. You can just move them around. And they'll be in your level. Also, very important. With this Lunar Magic, you can access your emulator just by pushing F4. But you know how Camtasia makes my computer run slow. I don't want, I can't do it with Camtasia running. But to do it, you would just go to make sure you download ZSNES 1.42 to do net play with people. You would go to emulator, and normally you say run ROM emulator, but most of the time you do it and you get something like this, except this place will be empty, and you would just browse for your emulator and found, find it, and that would be set up. So that's basic, sprites and objects. Wasn't really a big help, but mo just a quick note, most landscape is objects, landscape, and uh, coin blocks, and most of enemies, secret exits and everything are sprites so once you download Lunar Magic um, you should be able to find something on YouTube where to get it if you can't find it um, I got mine off of Super Mario World Bundle on Mediafire.com look that video up on YouTube I don't know who it's by but look that up to get this ROM of Lunar Magic and, and if you don't want to just make sure your Lunar Magic has the yellow and green and then the turn block options so yes that is it for right now um, also you can might already know this too you can if I'm in sprite editing mode I can move sprites around the level like that and if I'm not in sprite editing mode I can move landscape around the level alright and to save everything you would click this little floppy disk thing up here Alright. Now I'm just gonna delete all this stuff. Uh click you to click to delete something you just make sure you're in the right mode, click it, push the delete key, it's gone. Uh click oop, not sprite mode. Click delete. And just like that, you have a good level. You can design this however you however you want. You can send your ROMs to me once you think they're finished and you've tested them. Please test your ROMs before sending them to me. But there will be more tutorials out there. And uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. I only have one subscriber. I'm sad. 
but please please subscribe and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time